my name is Cassidy, and I will be talking about birth in the midst of the heat. I'm still saying it'll all be fine in the end if it's not fun, so I'll say it. So, hey, nope. And so I'm only 13 years old, and I've already seen God in my life and his workings in my life already. And usually pertaining to injury, because, you know, I'm very accident prone, and I get injured many, 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 many times. My mom, got, I think I'm going to share three major injuries that happened to me that I knew God was present. Okay, so when I was six years old, we were having this little Easter egg hunt, and I was getting an Easter egg out of the tree, and when I came down, I slipped, and I hit the ground. And when I hit the ground, I had broken my elbow, but I didn't know that at the time. All I remember is my brother's coming over, freaking out, getting my mom, freaking out, and so she had to send someone else out there who is familiar with situations like this and is calm. And, you know, for a six-year-old, that could have been really scary. I could have been squirming and making it worse. But I wasn't. I felt a presence of peace. I didn't feel any fear. I had no craziness. And I felt, I see now, like, I feel God took that away from that situation. And I felt safe. And that's probably part of how my parents were raising us. They gave us a safe environment and would talk about this guy, Jesus, you know, but... They would just tell us things on him, and I was too young to understand, like, his significance. But I thought that was the first evidence of God in my life, just that peace. And, you know, like, he was making my path, you know, my spiritual path. And when I went to the, I went to the hospital, and then they had to send me to another hospital to get surgery. And I just remember my mom saying these verses, and everyone praying for me. And I feel that's where I learned how to pray, you know, as right at the start of my walk. So, five years later, I, I was 11 years old, it was three days before states, and my ankle was hurting, and it was been hurting for a while, probably about two months, and I was already frustrated with the pain, so I was like, Mom, I need to go to the doctor, and she took me to the doctor, and I was not expecting to hear my ankle was broken, and that just added to the frustration, because I knew I was going to have to rebuild again, I was going to have to go through all this physical therapy, all this, you know, rebuilding to get back to where I was, and, you know, seeing my teammates move on and doing higher level skills, and I'm still trying to work this, because I was in a boot for two months, so I couldn't do anything with my legs, I could just do my arms, so I had to relearn everything, but I just remember praying through all this, and then praying God will take care of me, and he'll make me stronger and better out of the situation, so I won't have to do this again. And you know what? He did. A year later, I had a great level 7 season. I came off a win at my last meet, um, Vault State Camp. And I was going to advance to level 9, because that's what my coach wanted me to do. She wa um, wanted me to skip level 8, which my other teammate <coughs> and go to level 9, because we were progressive quick, prog progressing quickly. Had, um, had the physical strength to do it. We were getting all our skills that we needed. And... You know, I was at the top of my game. I was becoming a great gymnast and was kind of becoming all about me. And 